Google today pushed an update to their Google Photos app for iOS and Android where they changed some things up visually and they added a few new features. So I'm just going to kind of go through all of the new changes that they've added today, um, starting with this uh, logo. So looking at the logo here, it has been changed from what it was before. It is now more simplified. Um, it's flatter. It has rounded edges. And it just has the four Google colors, similar to apps like Google Maps who have gotten updated logos like this, but it is much more simplified. It's not a, a material design, paper-like looking thing. And, and now, again, looks similar to the new Google app logos. So we just go into the app here. This main photos grid is pretty similar to how it was before. So you still have all your photos arranged in the same way. If you tap on a photo, and you scroll up, you still have all the same information, where it was taken, um, what it was taken with, all of that. You can add it to albums and all that stuff, just, just like normal. But now at the top, they have um, this stories type thing, memories. Uh, it's similar to the Google or the YouTube video, little mini video memory short things, as well as like Instagram or that kind of stuff. So if you tap on it, then you can tap either left or right to get to the next one um, and then you can hit, tap in the middle to pause it and it just goes through a bunch of your photos so then looking at the bottom there is no swipe menu anymore so now instead of swiping over from the left you tap this um, search thing in the middle here this is um, different than the search was before um, before they just had a search bar at the top of your photos now there is no search bar you have to go over and hit search and then you can search for whatever you want and the library this is where most of that side menu stuff was um, before so go starting with search here search it works just like how it did before so if you type in a place or like a thing so say I just type in organ then it shows pictures that were taken in organ um, then they have categories here, so like people and pets, so you can tap on certain things like um, this pet here, Sophie. So it shows all the pictures that I have, and you can look at them just like how you, how you could before. Now this is the new thing that they've added places. So now there's a map that you can explore. Similar to iOS, um, Apple has had like a map in their Photos app for a while now. If you tap Explore Map, um, it shows you almost like a radar where pictures were taken. So the ones where more pictures were taken, um, it's red. And then as it goes out, it goes to purple. So if you just zoom out here, like on the country or whatever, then you can see, oh, okay, this is where uh, my photos have been taken kind of a thing. So if you zoom into a certain location, so say you go to like uh, Seattle here, right? zoom in you can see exactly okay this is where it was taken um, and if you tap on that location then it brings up oh cool here are the photos that were taken in that location and as you scroll down and look at the photos it changes to where that picture was taken which is pretty cool so if you just sit back then so then there's things this is just kind of things that you could search for before so like mountains boats skyscrapers sunset you know that, that kind of stuff just like things that it can identify and you can look at all those photos in there your activity so there's favorites if you favorited them um, or recently added photos and then categories so again these things you can you could have searched for before but like screenshots selfies videos you, if you've taken 360 uh, photos or videos photo scan if you scan something in or just motion photos and then down here creations so uh, any things that you've made so animations, collages, movies, that kind of stuff, or that it makes for you and you save. Tap that, and then you can look at all those. And then over here on library, this is what used to be the pull-out menu. Most of the stuff is in here, so you still have your print um, store, so you can get photo books made and all of that. You have your favorites, so you can tap on that to get all your favorited photos. Archive, which I use a lot. You can store useful stuff in there that you're going to need. Um, utilities. Um, and then trash or utility just kind of helps you manage your library and then trash is just all the stuff that you delete then photos on device these are the folders that you have on here before that you would have pulled over and just hidden like library folders or something like that so camera and then downloaded one screenshots all this all the photo folders that you have on your device not in the cloud and then down here are albums that you make so this is like cloud stuff so you put them all together and then 
you can share them or whatever um, from this little menu. You can add them here if you want to or uh, view any of your albums. So then kind of the last main thing. So we go to the, the main menu here. In the upper left-hand corner, there's this little message thing. This is how, do you, how you get to your sharing. Sharing used to be over here on the side with your albums, but now it is up in the corner. So you can either, this is either stuff that has been shared with you or you have shared with other people, either chats that you have um, where you just share photos back and forth or albums, that kind of stuff. So that's really all of the new things. Um, it's not huge uh, feature-wise, but it, it has been changed up quite a bit, and Photos hasn't been changed up this much in a while. So I thought it would just be kind of interesting uh, for people to see. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this update. I feel like, you know, it, it's nice. It was overdue just because they have the swipe gestures and they can't really have a pullover menu anymore. Um, but, uh, it hasn't been changed up too much, which I like. I, I like how this app is. I don't want it to be changed up too much, but these little changes are fine with me. So that's about it for this video. Let me know um, what you think of it in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in to Tea Time.